connect and welcome to today's learning lab focusing on building your real estate brand. I'm Wendy Forsythe, the Chief Brand Officer at Fathom Realty, and I'm delighted to be leading today's session with you. Today's learning lab is the last of three that Fathom Realty has been hosting this week at Inman Connect. Agent branding is one of the differentiators for us here at Fathom Realty as a national brokerage company and helping agents build their brands is a core passion of ours and of mine personally. At Fathom, we have an agent first branding philosophy, meaning we want our Fathom agents to build their brand first and understand that our role as their brokerage partner is to serve them in making that happen. Fathom agents keep 100% of their commission minus a small transaction fee. This allows our agents to invest that commission that it would normally pay a traditional brokerage company back into their real estate brand and not their broker's brand. That combined with wealth building through stock incentives and agent recruiting bonuses sets our Fathom agents up for short-term and long-term business and financial success. If you'd like to learn more about Fathom Realty, you can visit fathomcareers.com. On day one of our Learning Lab series this week, we focused on you are a brand, now act like it. Day two, we continued our branding journey and focused on three critical branding breakthroughs for 2021. And today we're gonna wrap up our three-part series by talking about free tools that you can use to build your brand and tell your brand story. So when I was building this learning lab series for Fathom and thinking about today's session and knowing that we as realtors love free tools and we love to be able to tell our stories and we need to be able to tell our stories, there was only one person in the industry that I could think of that I wanted to join me that I knew could bring it for all of you with free tools, high energy, and really gets how to build a great brand story. So I reached out to her and I'm thrilled that she said yes, that she would join us. So I'm gonna bring her up here on the virtual stage with me now. Please join me in welcoming Christy Canelli from Rate My Age. And Christy, good morning. Good morning, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Outstanding, outstanding. Awesome. So we've got some free tools to talk about. We do indeed. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and bring up my little deck here. There we go. You seeing that on your side, Wendy? We are. Yes, we are seeing it. Are you good if I just dive in? Let's just dive in. We, we have got so many things to talk about here that I don't want to miss anything. So, you know, folks, grab your coffee. It's still morning for all of us across the country. Christy and I are in California, so we've only had a couple coffees so far this morning. But uh, grab your coffee, hang on, grab your pens. Here we go. Let's That's talk right. about some free brand building tools. Here we go. We're going to head roll. We're going to shimmy <laughs> shake. All right. And we're off. Uh, Wendy, I okay. want to talk about making video easy. All uh, right. Been well, well video has been a big topic this week, but let's make it easy. I, I, I love the easy word in front of that right away. You got it. You got it. So I want to give a beginner's tip and then I will give something a bit more advanced in just a second. But the first free tip I want everyone to write down is loom.com. Write down loom.com. It is a free Chrome extension that is going to allow you to record your screen and yourself just a little bit, just a little bit of yourself. It's a little corner uh, over there. You can do it. Yeah, exactly. You guys can do this. How are we going to do it? We're going to create a slide or you're going to use existing marketing material. I know you all already have this marketing material and I'll tell you why we're going to use that in just a second. You're going to open up Loom. You are going to record and then we're going to download. And that's it, Wendy. That is what we're going to look at right now. Yeah. So this is how it works. You're going to use a slide or marketing material. In this case, I made a slide for myself with five bullet points about my experience. Um, and like I said, you could use existing marketing material. It doesn't matter. This is going to be your cue card. So you do not have to memorize a script or read a teleprompter. This is what you're looking at. So I created this slide for Shirley Martin. And uh, Wendy, my name is Christy Keneally, as you know, but I was once told 
that I looked like a cross between Shirley Jones and Martin Short. <laughs> right, not true. I mean, I'm way more Katy Perry. But way anyway, more Katy Perry, that's who more, I got. That's who way I got. more Katy Perry. All right, everybody. So we've got our slide or our marketing material. Then you're gonna open up Loom and here's the trick. Try not to make that face when you record in Loom. Even if you do make that face, it's okay. I make that face all the time when I'm trying new technology. It is okay, we're gonna trim it out. All you do is hit record and read that slide. So Wendy, can I show everybody just a tiny Yeah, example? it's so easy. So yeah, let's take a little video clip here. You got it. Hi there, my name is Shirley Martin. I am with Undisruptible Realty and I am- This is exactly what it looks like, folks. Like it, this is, is how it will come through when you send it. Experience and my number one priority is customer service. You get the idea. I mean, that's it, right? So I easy. Not reading a cue card. I was not memorizing. I was just looking at my five little bullet points. And possible. now the cool thing is with Loom, you can download that MP4. These, a lot of tools don't let you do that, right? Yeah. So now you've got the MP4 and what do you do with that? Put it on your website, put it on your Rate My Agent profile, put it in your email signature, put it on YouTube, put it on socials. I mean, I don't know, stop. Yeah. Stop me at some this point, is right? So great because it's a free tool that you can now use across all the different platforms, right? So it's you know it's one of the things we've been talking about is repurpose your content, right? So this could be a virtual walkthrough of a listing. It could be an introduction, like the example that you just gave. It could be some photos you took of a neighborhood to give sort of a neighborhood tour to an out of town buyer. Like there's an unlimited amount of ideas and ways that you can use this tool. It could Absolutely. be explaining an offer. It could be explaining, you know, a listing agreement, like just let your mind run wild, everyone, with how you could, you know, use this with a simple slide on a PowerPoint and then you just talking and recording it. That's right. And now, and that slide is your cue card. So nerves go away. Nerves go um, away. Now I got my little advanced tip. For, so for those of you uh, that are like, yeah, been there, done that. I do video and I'm uh, yay, awesome. Uh, my advanced tip is if you are on Facebook and you're like, wait, how do I get that look? How do I get that one by one that takes up all that space and those big captions that autoplay? How, how do I do that? And so the tool that I like to use to create that really legit look is wow. called Cupwing, uh, or you could say Capwing, but I think they pronounce it Cupwing. I, I uh, say Capwing because I'm just, uh, I'm Canadian. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, so there is a freemium version and this is going to give you all the tools you need for your digital storytelling for your brand. And you get that legit one by one look with the free captions, the auto generated captions. So this is the back end of Capwing. Uh, and it's really intuitive. I, I'm just going to encourage you all to poke around and break it uh, because you will. And yeah. all you do is refresh. Right, yeah. Wendy, a refresh solves everything. It does. It, it was in so many ways, Christy. I can't even can't even say. Right. Christy, I got a question that's coming in that I think we should address, and that is how is Loom different from Bomb Bomb? So a lot of uh, us are using Bomb Bomb for email videos. And I would say that that Loom is just easier because it's not connected to your email and you get all the different formats that you can use across different social platforms. Yeah, uh, you know, so BombBomb Bomb is um, a paid platform and fantastic. I use BombBomb. Bomb. You get a lot more bells and whistles with BombBomb. Bomb. Um, and uh, I think more tracking tools, uh, uh, maybe an easier library of your videos to go through. Loom is just a great way to get your feet wet, I would say. And then I would think about moving up to BombBomb. Bomb. Yeah, would, would I just how think I would it's look so at. easy to get started with that that, um, yeah, so great. Okay. All okay, right. Cool. So All right. So that was uh, that was cap capwing capwing. Uh, all right, Wendy. Um, something that's been discussed in the last couple of days is consistency. Yes. Right, and that it's key. But I got to be honest with you. I think consistency and achieving it can be a pain in the butt. 
I'm just being honest, right? I'm just, I'm just being honest. So if you want a tool to help you with consistency, another free one, write this down, everybody, is realgrader.com realgrader.com. What they will do is a free online audit of all of your social media, uh, your YouTube, your portal profiles, that's hard to say, uh, yes. all of it. And then they generate a report for you and they tell you all the stuff that needs to be fixed. Like um, you're missing your Instagram business profile. And your YouTube channel is a hot mess. I mean, they don't say right. hot Right, and your but... email addresses are all different. And we talked earlier in the week in one of the Learning Lab sessions about doing a brand audit on yourself, and particularly online, um, that audit. And I wanted to tell everyone this tool, but I wanted to save it for today. Uh, but <laughs> I, I'm a big believer in at least every quarter, like when you're doing your like quarterly review, this should be something that's on that checklist that you are looking at everything and the realgrader.com tool is a great free tool to go do some of the legwork for you, but put your eyes on all those different places that your brand is represented out there in the online world. And particularly with things like we've all been in an uproar the last week or so, some of us have, you know, with changes that Zillow has made, right? Where all of our solds, a lot of our reviews disappeared because we didn't have consistent email addresses on our Zillow um, profiles and in other places. So, you know, it just hit home for me the importance of making sure that we have consistent brand contact information across all of our platforms out there. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. And uh, with Real Grader, this will take about five business days. And then you can either act on this list or you can ask Real Grader to help you with the cleanup. That's where they, that's how they make their, their money. Uh, but either way, you've got, you've got the list to go to work. Um, yes. And I think that, I just think that's a cool little service. It so is. cool, cool, cool. Um, oh, I like this topic. I want to talk about repurposing. I know that that's been a, 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 something we've talked about in the last two days, repurposing. Um, and my girl, Marky Lemons, my girl, you know how Marky says, I'm your girl. I know my girl, Marky Lemons, <clears throat> talked about repurposing video yesterday. Yes. So I just wanted to drill down on that for you guys today. So this is a cool hack, repurposing existing video onto IGTV with a with a hack. It's awesome. Um, and the what, reason I'm, I'm so behind this is I found an old video of me playing Rumple Teaser and Cats on Broadway, this old, old video, and I put it on YouTube. And two days later, I had 91 views. It was sad, right? Um, but then I repurposed it doing what I'm going to show you guys in just a minute. And I put it on IGTV and I had 2000 views in 48 hours. Now I am not dissing YouTube. I am not dissing YouTube. YouTube is just a bit of a long game, right? Yeah. If you're looking for a quick hit and more eyeballs and ju just, just more exposure, oh my goodness, IGTV. It's just, it's just such a no brainer. So let me show everybody how to do it. Um, you have to go on your desktop. So everybody write down desktop Instagram profile. I know that's weird. It just go with me. Go to your profile on your desktop on Instagram and then look under your highlights. It's buried. You want to look for the IGTV icon. It's yeah. hard to find, but you, once you find it, click on it and then click on that upload button and lo and behold, you're like, oh my God. You're right on your it. desktop, which is so easy. So easy. So drag and drop those existing FAQ videos, those existing listing videos, or you know whatever you maybe have on YouTube that's evergreen that could work here. Yeah. Um, drop it in, add those hashtags, up to 30 of them. That's how you're going to get those eyeballs. And then I believe it now defaults to posting as um, uh, posting in people's feed. So yes. don't worry if the video is four minutes long, the first 60 seconds is going to show up as a post in people's feeds. And then you can make it a story. I'm getting excited about it because now we're repurposing on top of repurposing on top of repurposing, right? Yes, it's so good. So like make this to do everyone to go look at all those videos that you've forgotten about on YouTube when five years ago we told you to start a YouTube channel and, and you did and, and now you're like, well, what do I do with it? And, and like 
using that like evergreen content is so good, but do those throwback Thursday videos too, right? Like Chrissy, you gave us a great example there. And, and a hack is really just a shortcut, right? It's a yes. shortcut. It's a way to repurpose things and using the desktop version of Instagram, we forget that it's there. So go take a look at the desktop version and you'll find some of these shortcuts. So what, what do we get next? Oh, this idea of on-demand video, which you've already kind of hinted about this. So, so we've talked about Loom and recording um, videos, but I want to take it a step further. Is it possible to win the business before you even have an appointment with somebody because you led with your brand and you led with video? Yes. So I, it's kind of an interesting <laughs> idea, right? Can, can you record a Loom? or a bomb bomb, or maybe you've got the paid version of Zoom, or maybe it's just on your phone and you know we don't make a big deal of this. Yeah. And can you send a video before the appointment, introducing yourself, setting expectations? Is it gonna be a virtual meeting or are you able to meet in person? What does that look like right now? Um, what questions do they have and get them ready for, for their questions and tell them to look at your reviews online. And if they need to reschedule, say, let me know right away. But now you've walked the walk saying, I do video marketing yes. by sending a video before any other agent before that appointment, if that makes sense. Yes, which is so important because we talk about this, you know, we've been talking about the, our virtual world, our online world, but you know, if we're going to talk about how we market using video and using photography and using, you know, the latest, you know, marketing techniques, we need to walk that walk. And this is such a great example of a alignment. So we call this brand alignment. So don't, not just me saying I'm going to do certain things, but demonstrating how I will do those things. And that's a powerful piece of authenticity in building your brand out there in your market. Totally. And there's other, another weird thing about this is a little bit of a celebrity factor where if, if you've been seen in video first, I, I don't know, it's this weird little factor where people think they know you then when they meet you, or there's an impression already. Like we were just talking to Devin, our, uh, the producer for this. And he was like, Christy, I saw you on the rate my agent awards last night. And, and it's yeah. like, he knew me, right. But just because I was on video, yeah. it's that magic little thing that works so well for a personal brand. It does. Anyway. All right. Moving on. Okay. Uh, oh, oh, I like this one. Repurpose your reviews in a social post. Oh, okay. we're going to have fun, Wendy. Um, all right. What I want to do, uh, I want to take social posts uh, or uh, I want to create a social post using Canva yeah. and a headline from a review. And I want to do it really fast and I want to make it look cool. Yeah. And here's so, how we're so going to like, let's not just skip over this. So Canva is the tool here that we're getting into. So I want to make sure that everybody catches that. So Canva is there's a free version. There's also a, you know, an upgraded version, but Canva as a, it will turn you into a designer where you can make like really great graphics and social posts through that tool. Totally. So yeah, sorry. I got super excited just then. So, <laughs> so can, Canva, write that one down. And what we're going to do is you're going to take your headshot. We're going to choose a Canva template. We're going to keep our brand colors in mind. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to remove the background of your photo to make this look really cool. Pull in a quote. I'm it's it took me longer to explain that than yes, how you actually do it. Do it. And so that's what I love about Canva is is you just it it's so easy. So so it's check so it easy. out. It's snap 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 snap. So here we go. This is my friend Shelly Zavitz, right? So we've got her headshot here. I'm gonna choose a Canva template. I chose this makeup one only because it looked like oh. That looks good. I can put a headshot in there and, a, and just a little bit of copy. Choose that template or whatever template you like. Then go grab a headline from a Rate My Agent review or whatever review you've, you've got. So we've got efficient, kind, knowledgeable. Bam, bam, bam. Let's copy and paste that. Yes. And so I put it together in that template on Canva, right? But I don't like the way that headshot looks. I don't like it. 
So if you have the pro version of Canva, you're going to remove the background of that photo and then bam. Man, that's a game changer. When you remove those backgrounds and get that nice white, like when we, we, that, that's a game changer. I love that tool. I mean, look how it just looks so good. Now, for those of you who do not have the pro version of Canva, no worries. Use a tool called remove.bg. Write that one down. Remove.bg and just take a headshot and get that background removed using that free tool. And then use and then pull pull that into Canva and you'll always have it to use. Yep. Great oh. tip. Free tips. We love free. Oh, goodness. Say, How did we know that this would end up in there somewhere? Of course. <laughs> so I'm just going to say that that remove background works for some strange th things you might not think you'd be doing, things right? You might not think. I posted that on LinkedIn. Wendy, that was the best post I have ever done on, the, <laughs> on LinkedIn. It, I, and that's so that was me and Bernie getting ready for the rate my agent awards last night. There you go. All yeah, right. It's, Instagram reels. Instagram reels. So, um, whoo, you know what? I don't have a ton of time to go into depth on this, but uh, my friend Chelsea is speaking later today and she's going to go into depth. But yeah. I just want everyone to understand the basics of Instagram reels. It is the new ish shiny object with Instagram. So it's a great way to make video for your followers. It is almost exactly like TikTok. So you can make 15 to 30 second videos. But here's the thing I love is the music. You get this incredible access to copyrighted music that you're legally allowed to use, right? And it can be so inspiring. And why does that matter? What do you, people are like, well, what do I do with that? Well, you could show off a listing or a room to some amazing music. My friend Shelly uses incredible jazz music and, and shows off rooms for listings. And it's just, I feel like I get to know her a little bit better just from her music right. choices. And um, when we you think about offer... repurposing content, this is another example of where you can repurpose a video that was on YouTube over into Instagram TV. Now you can make it a reel. Like there's just, there are so many fast, simple ways to repurpose your content now. And reels is different from stories in that your stories are going to go away in a day, but your reel is going to stay. And when you click on your profile, you can see all of your reels. So think of reels more as almost like a spot to put your commercial. Like it's going to stay there attached to your Instagram account for, for until forever or until you, you take it down. So reels is a great tool to play with. Absolutely. And you can have so much fun. I tend, uh, I'll be honest. I you tend have to fun? dance. No, I, 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 I might dance in my kitchen. Yeah, well, let's, let us see. We should probably okay. see that. So this is me. I pulled my kid in God love him. Uh, cause I wanted him to learn about footloose. So we recreated, <laughs> foot, we recreated footloose. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he's a good sport he's a good sport right oh man all right uh moving on to something else i want everyone to write down ratemyagent.com this is another free tool ratemyagent.com why is this incredible for branding you're going to claim your free profile and then you're going to collect all of your reviews into one place. And why does that matter? Well, when you collect your reviews into one place with Rate My Agent for free, uh -huh. all of those pages create unique, or all of those reviews create unique web pages which feeds Google that thing that it loves, which is fresh content. It needs it it like candy, yeah. right? So if I were to search Arabella Norman, for example, her number one search result is rate my agent. She has 38 reviews. Now, some of you might be thinking that's not a lot of review reviews or some of you might be thinking, oh, that's a lot of reviews. The point is 
they're all coming from one source, one place, and Google is recognizing that. So when I visit Arabella's free Rate My Agent profile, not only can I see every review from all the platforms that she's aggregated, but each review is its own unique web page. That's and awesome. That's and building that gives you control to have it in that one spot versus here's my Google, here's my Facebook, here's my um, you know, Zillow, like pull it all together. That aggregation is super powerful. Super powerful. That builds your digital footprint, right? Yes. That is what, that's the beginning of that. All right. Really quick last video tip, and then we'll, we'll wrap up Wendy. All last right. video tip. I don't know about you, but I hear this all the time. I, I hate being on video. Yes. I hate yes. my voice. Yes. I don't like my voice. I don't have I don't look. I don't want to put on makeup. I don't want to, you know, the list all, is on, right? Right. All of it. And so you, I could, you could say, well, do it anyway, but I don't preach that. I say, you know what, then don't, because if you don't like it, you're not going to do it. Right. So let's make you like it. Um, so this is video without being in video. So all write right. down lumen5.com, lumen 5 dot com and i want you to think about some bullet points or some listicles or crowdsourced information like um five do it five five first time home buyer tips okay. or the five best sushi places in sherman oaks i mean let your minds just sort of go with that oh, oh, i know lists of all kinds of things yeah. awesome put that list in lumen five and it will make a video for you in about 60 seconds. So it's using stock images and it's just pulling it together for you. So let, let's let's give a little sample of this. You got it, you got it. So here's a little example of Lumen 5. This is all stock footage. It's and not bad, right? Magic. It's if you haven't seen this happen, it's hard to figure out. Like, really, it does this for you, but it does this for you just based on that listicle that you put together. Yeah. Now, I'll be honest. Is it perfect right out of the gate? No. Some sometimes they get it really right, but once in a while they don't pull the exact right uh, royalty-free video or image. It, it, so what? You get to choose then from their library or put in your own. Yes. Uh, so it's really pretty cool. It's um, very cool. But I just want to reiterate that point of if if we can't convince you that you want to be on video yet, use this tool and still make video. You don't always have to be in front of the screen on video to use the power of video in your tools um, and in your brand. So if, if we can't throw you in the deep end of the water with video, let's just take you into the lake slowly. We can wade you in and get there. And this is a great example of, of a free tool that will do that for you. Oh, word, my friend, word. <laughs> All right, this is, this is actually, I think, a little bit more in your wheelhouse, Wendy, but I wanted to, everyone to know about Clubhouse, which yes. is a brand new social media platform that is like talk radio meets live podcasting meets Zoom without cameras. Glory, hallelujah. Yes. Glory, so if hallelujah. You, uh, yeah, if, if you don't want to be on video, then you're really going to love Clubhouse. So Clubhouse is an app, um, so you need to download it on your iPhone. And it is a, a new sort of social media uh, platform, but it really is a, I think talk radio is, is a great way to put it. So you can log in, create your profile. You see the screenshot there. Many of us here at Inman have been having sort of recaps at the end of the day. So um, there'll be one today. So join us there in the Inman recap. We'll be uh, chatting and talking there. What I love about Clubhouse is that, and I read this stat recently, it is the wealthiest social media platform ever launched. And what was meant by that is that it gives you access to people and information immediately. So you're going to see, you know, all kinds of different rooms. So you go into a room that has a topic and then people are talking about that topic. Like, gurus are talking about that topic and you get the opportunity to engage with them and that is just such a powerful way to learn and and we're figuring out all kinds of ways to use this from a real estate perspective 
So think of hosting a room on a topic of, you know, moving into a particular community or what you need to know in a community. Like there's just so many great ways to explore this. I'm sure we're going to be talking about this a lot more, but check out Clubhouse. Absolutely. And Wendy, we did it. We did it. We did it in our 30 minutes. So thank you, Christy, for joining me for this session. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. Check out the replays of our three-day learning lab that's been hosted by Fathom Realty as part of Inman Connect. We wish you all the best in building your brand. And please reach out to us with any questions. And Christy and I will be on Clubhouse later today. So we hope to get to chat with you and continue the, the conversation there. Have a wonderful Inman Connect. And thank you again, Christy. You bet. That was a blast. Take Bye, care. everybody. <laughs>